everybody, and it's time to film everybody's favorite video of the week, and that is the day when we find out, does this thing really work? I'm not testing out a paper box today. Are you disappointed? Gosh, I really wonder if this works or not. Inside this box is maybe one of the single most requested items that I've ever seen you guys talk about, and that is the WOW Cup. Wow. The authentic Wow cup. And I, I don't know why everyone's so curious about this, except for I have seen the commercial and it does involve children flying through space with no helmets or any other kind of space safety equipment. And I mean, if I was gonna advertise a product, the very first tactic I would use is children floating in space. Who doesn't want to do that? Basically, this is supposed to be some kind of fantastic new cup technology. And I thought that they had like spilly cups for children. I don't really know. I ain't got no children. Basically, you're supposed to be able to drink all the way around the cup, 360 degrees. Wait, 365? No, that's how many days are in a year, science. Anywhere on this cup, you're supposed to be able to get liquid out of it and drink out of it like a regular cup, yet it's supposed to not be able to spill on anything. Like you can dangle it around or do a little dance or throw it all over your laptop and it's not supposed to spill not one single drop. I had to get the WOW cup directly from the manufacturer, which if you're looking for this product, I kind of don't recommend buying it directly from these people because you end up paying a lot more. It's supposed to be $10. It was not $10. They make you do the two for one deal where they're always like, call now and you get two for the price of one. You don't. Don't believe that. First of all, they make you wait about six weeks. I ordered this six weeks ago. It just came in the mail today. That is ridiculous. They try and make you pay all these fees. Like if you wanted to get it in a reasonable time frame, you paid $10 additional shipping. And then they really stick you with that two for one deal. You can't just buy one. They act like they're giving you two for one or they're giving you like a big cut rate deal, but they're not. They force you to add a second one to the cart. The second one was $7. And then I had to pay many, many more dollars for shipping and handling. And it came to a grand total of about 23 bucks for this cup. So I really, really hope that it's the most impressive cup I've ever drank anything from. Wow. It's kind of like heavier than a regular cup and it's top heavy. I think they want you to spill it and then see like it's not gonna spill. It just twists on. This is what the cap looks like. I'm not exactly sure where the liquid that you drink comes from. I'm not sure if it all comes from this weird little hole. Do you guys see this? It looks like the top of a fast food cup, like where you poke a straw in and liquid would come out and then just a cup. So I'm going to test it out today with this delicious baby can of Pepsi that I have on hand. I once again drank all of my tea. Does anybody else tap the top of their soda can before they open it? Where do I come up with these strange habits? But I have to tap the can three times before I can open it. I can't, like, I just, ugh. why do I do these things? Wow. Now I will twist the lid on. It looks like there's some kind of gapage. I don't know. Will that, I, it's, it's, the lid is on. Okay, first I'm gonna try and drink. What, okay. Did I not do this right? Ooh, there's lipsticky prints all over it now. I must be doing something wrong. Like it's certainly not spilling. Oh, wow. Wow. This is Pepsi running out. It looks like Pepsi tears that I'm crying. This is disgusting. Let me see if I can find some kinds of instructions while I wipe this sticky mess from all over the floor and my pupil. I don't think that there's any instructions for this cup. It did come with this pile of paper though. I can buy this infinite love ring. Wow, only $10. Oh, and last but not least, they sent me Alex Trebek. Oh, oh, look, okay, wow, spill-free cup. Yeah, uh-huh, sure, all right. Oh, wow. Right here, it does say no carbonated or hot beverages. All right. Step two, place mouth anywhere on the Uniflow drinking edge, tilt the cup back, and gently suck. Okay. While gently sucking, push your upper lip down on the valve 
and the liquid will flow between the valve ring and when you stop sucking, the valve will quite apparently reseal itself. I didn't know there's actually three pieces. Wow, you learn something new with the wow cup every second that you try it. I'm going to resort to the other thing that I currently have in my fridge, which is Gatorade. And I'm going to fill up the WOW cup for the second time after I just washed it again. Let's give it the shake test before I even try and drink. All right, nothing's spilling. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, let's see if I can actually get a drink from this cup, though. That would be even more impressive, right? If you could actually drink from a drinking cup. It's not really easy to drink out of this cup, to be honest. Just kind of like tipping it and sucking. It's not like you get like a drop, literally one drop. Uh, you kind of have to push down on this weird silicone thing with your teeth. And I feel like I'm sucking in still predominantly air and not drink. Very, very difficult to sippy sippy out of this cup. I'm gonna try and do it like Mythbusters and show you guys like what the pressure of teas does to make like how much drink you actually get like if you were drinking out of it. I've got the wow cup and I'm gonna try and like simulate like if you push down on your, like with your teeth. See, it just wants to like drip. I don't even know if this is like a fair comparison. See, that's like how much comes out at a time with force. And I know I'm not sucking, but like still, like I don't really think that sucking works all that great. It's kind of like sucking in a lot of air, which normally makes me feel really, really sick to my stomach, which is why I'm always drinking out of straws in the first place and never just out of cups like a heathen. I'm extremely unimpressed with this cup. I don't know, it's true, you can't, oh, see, it kind of just spilly spilled a little bit again. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I mean, oh, it spilled again. See, it's like droplets. I mean, granted, it's not like a huge mess, like if you tipped over an entire cup on your head, but it is dripping on me. I'm not sure if the camera is capturing the drips or not. It does kind of leak out of this hole a little bit. Like you can see it coming out of the middle, right? Just a little bit. Let's see what happens if I knock it off of this table. Are you guys seeing this? Whoops! All right, yeah, it kind of did. Let me see, can I set up this camera? It kind of just splashied a little bit all over my floor, almost into the cat bowl. I'm sure he'd appreciate that, not in the least. So on a whole, the verdict about does this thing really work or not is kind of not really, in my opinion. I mean, overall, it does prevent Bills. Like obviously if you pour a whole cup of juice on your head, you would definitely get more than a drip here or there, but it is still kind of annoying that it drips at all. Am I the only person that's annoyed by that? I guess it does prevent like large messes. It's kind of disappointing that you can't put carbonated drinks in it. I had no idea. They don't tell you that on the television. Also in the TV ad, it's kind of misleading because they have this little boy and they really show like he's like chugging chugging this drink down. There's no chugging with the wow cup. You kind of just get like a few little sippy trickles at a time. And also you do suck in a lot of air. This is definitely not something, I mean, I'll drink out of the wow cup just for memories like the cup, but I'm totally gonna throw away this spill proof valve. Leave me a comment down below and suggest what you guys would like me to test out next. I'm thinking about doing the bacon bowl, even though that seems kind of gross, but also fascinating. Be sure and like this video if you still uh, like this series, Does This Thing Really Work? If you're not already, please take a minute, and hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.